uh, we are uh, exploring BFS properties, right? So the intuition of BFS was uh, that in breakfast search, uh, we explore uh, starting from uh, S, we explore in the outward direction, in on po all possible direction basically, and we will uh, add all the nodes layer by layer, one layer at a time. Okay, so all the nodes which are uh, one step away from S from the source are at level one. Similarly, all the source, uh, all the nodes which are uh, you know two step away from the source are at level two L two. Okay, so L one, L zero, L one, L two are these are the levels. So we assume that source is at level 0 and accordingly we label all the levels, okay, all the remaining levels. Now, um, what is L2? L2 is all the nodes that do not belong to L0 or L1, okay, therefore they are coming in L2 and that have an edge to a node uh, in L1, okay. So there must be definitely one edge from L1 to L2 because that's why that's why it is coming in level l2 because there is some node when we explore that node we got to this node okay and this node does not belong to l1 or s why because if it belongs to any of this layer we will not include it in here okay so remember we only NQ one node at one time only right so if a node is already been in the Q, then we will never insert it okay or in general we uh, we would like to say that if we have visited any node we will not visit it again right so uh, you know with this uh, uh, properties there is a theorem which says that for each i l i consists of all the nodes at distance exactly i from s okay so any node uh, you know you pick any node from L2 from level 2 so this is a BFS tree basically okay what is this this is a BFS tree and whatever we are saying so we are talking about or referring to BFS tree so if we form a BFS tree and we pick any node from say L2 from level 2 then it is two step away from source okay so you can pick any node so i am picking any node from level l i how what is the distance of this node from s distance is d of this particular node is i okay so i okay so remember this thing and this is an important theorem so uh, it also means that there is a path from s to t okay if and only if t appears in some layer now see this is quite intuitive uh, the properties but it is very useful when we move forward and we will use this in some of the proofs okay so what we are saying suppose this is some level li and there is a node t so we are saying that if t is uh, is uh, there in level li it means that there is a path from t from s to t means this node is reachable from s to t and what is the distance distance is i it is i distance away or i steps away from the source if there is any node which does not appear in any of the layers okay which it means that that particular node say u it is unreachable it is unreachable we cannot go to this node from source okay and therefore source is quite important in bfs so yeah, every time you know uh, somebody will give you the source and the graph you will use graph uh, and take that source and generate a bfs tree okay and there are very very nice properties uh, bfs is satisfied that we will look uh, more uh, look into in more detail and we will use this property to solve many real world applications okay so i hope this theorem is clear this is quite simple theorem we are saying that at any level uh, l i all the node con uh, which consist uh, you know all the nodes that are there in this particular uh, level they are i distance away from s and there exists a path from s to that node if the, if there is any node which does not appear in any of these layers then 
it means that it is not reachable from s okay good now comes the another property next property says that let t be the bfs tree okay so again and again i am saying whatever properties we are showing here is applicable on bfs tree so we run the algorithm we got a bfs tree so whenever we do a breadth first search, uh, search traversal we get a bfs tree and that tree is quite important tree okay so suppose that tree uh, let's call it t okay so t is a bfs tree of graph g right now let there is a edge x comma y okay this is a edge x comma y then the layer of x the layer to which x belong and the layer to which y belongs differ by at most one okay means it is it it is at most one distance away right so either it is the distance is zero when the distance is zero when both are at same layer okay or the difference of the layer is mine uh, is equal to one okay so you can say it is less than equal to one the difference of the layer okay so you can see in this example suppose this is the this is the graph given to us okay now when we form the bfs tree so let's say we will start with node one so when we compute node one we get two and three when we come to two we get four and five when we come to three we get so five is already explored uh, we get seven and eight okay similarly when we explore uh, you know four all the nodes are done when we explore five we get six okay so this is the tree which which we get okay and these are the layers now you can see if there is a edge between any two nodes then definitely they are they are one step away or at most one step away okay so let's assume that you can take anything so suppose there is a edge between 3 and 5 so 3 and 5 okay so the layer of 3 is l1 layer of 5 is l2 okay so the difference of their layer is 1 there is a edge between 2 and 3 both of them is having l1 both of them are in uh, one layer 1 okay so the difference is 0 okay so it is not possible so what the theorem or the what the property is saying that suppose suppose there is a you know uh, there is a node from uh, there is a edge from 1 to 4 okay in this tree suppose there is this edge in the graph actually but this is not possible why so we can prove this by contra contradiction so let's say there is there are two nodes when there is a direct edge between them but there are but there are uh, the difference of their level is two okay more than one basically so two but is this possible no why because when we are exploring one definitely we counted we if there is a direct edge we have definitely counted four and four then lies in here okay not in the next layer right so <clears throat> i hope it is clear so this is we are um, you know telling in undirected graph there are no direction involved undirected graph we will see what happen when you know direction comes into uh, picture but right now i am talking about undirected graph and in undirected graph we are saying that if there is a direct edge x and y okay so if there is an edge between two nodes x and y then these nodes lie in the layer at which differs at most one not more than that okay so this is another property there is a direct edge from u to v then in case of directed graph distance of v distance of v is less than equal to one plus distance of u okay so it is less than equal to but if it is an undirected graph then we can say that the difference of their distance is less than equal to one okay it is at most one so see if we go into more detail let me clarify one more thing that let's talk about undirected graph first okay if we talk about undirected graph then we are saying that the difference if there is a direct edge from u to v so there is no direction involved 
if there is a edge between u to v then uh, the difference of their distance is either 0 or 1 okay it is either 0 so when it is 0 it is 0 when suppose there is some node t which is having u and v as a parent and there is a direct edge between u and v as well okay and suppose we are doing breadth search from t so when we start from t we will explore u also and v also okay so i am not supposed to make direction here v also okay now at this time we will so when we explore neighbor of u then since v is already done we will not draw any edge okay so uh, the difference of distance is zero if this is not the case if it is not connected with t it is only connected with u okay so when we explore u okay we go ahead and write v here right so in this case the distance uh, difference is one apart from this no other cases are possible okay it it, it it is not like that if the there is a direct edge between two nodes and and it is uh, you know one, uh, two distance apart so if there is an edge between t and u so this is not the bfs or bfs tree for that because when we explore tree uh, t then definitely we have uh, seen v as well okay so this we can say for undirected graph but for directed graph what we can say we can say that if there is a direct edge between directed edge between u and v from u to v then the, the distance of this is less than okay distance of v is less than equal to 1 plus distance of u so this is a quite important property to look into okay so let me show you through some example suppose there is a node 1 and there is a node 2 okay and suppose there is a node 3 and suppose this so this is the figure okay now if we start doing bfs with 1 what is the tree looks like it looks like this 1 2 and 3 okay so if you apply bfs the tree bfs tree looks like this now there is a direct edge from 3 to 1 right so u is 3 what is the distance of 3 from source distance is 2 right distance is 2 so and what is the distance of u from source distance is 0 okay so 0 and 1 plus 2 that is 3 so this is d of v less than always less than equal to 3 and that is true agreed so we cannot say it is 0 or 1 it could be less than uh, and it the less than number could be anything okay when they are equal when so th this is the inequality right it is less than in which case this both the things are equal they are equal if and only if uh, we are coming to this node from u okay so suppose there is a direct edge from 2 to 3 in this case u is 2 v is 3 distance of v is equal to 1 plus distance of u exactly because 2 3 from where we are coming we are coming from u okay in this case it is equal otherwise it is less than okay and it the less than number could be anything but for di directed graph undirected graph definitely we can say it could be either 0 or 1 not less than that okay it cannot be 2 right good so okay so there is a proof uh, sketch a uh, short proof sketch what we can say about this thing so by the time u becomes black or it is scanned or visited v must be visited if not done earlier okay but in case of undirected graph since uv is equivalent to vu okay so therefore we can uh, say little more things about this or we can say uh, more strict efs edges okay so uh, in a tree which is generated by um, you know bfs or dfs that we will cover little later so there are actually four types of trees that are generated okay 
so first let me clarify you what are the types of edges and then we will see you know which type of edge present in which tree okay so uh, the very first is a simple tree edge what do we mean by tree edge so whenever we form a tree remember i told you that whenever we perform bfs on any graph it also generates a tree alongside right so uh, that tree is called bfs tree so all the edges of that particular tree are called tree edges okay so let me just show you a, one example of that yes so suppose this is this is our graph g okay and our source is one definitely this node we start from this source and this is the tree we get right this is the bfs tree we get now in this bfs tree all the solid black color edges are called tree edges because these are the actual edges which form bfs tree right so solid black color edges are called um, this tree edge uh, tree edges okay so uh, the definition of uh, uh, tree edge we have written as for any node u we will see parent so u is a parent of v okay so we just uh, travel parent 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 and you know all the edges we come across all the edges that are came across we will call it as tree edges okay so uh, so for for example to v what is the tree edge the edge from which we are coming to this point okay from from the 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 node from where we are coming to this point so the edge between these two net nodes are uh, the part of tree edge okay now what are back edges back edges means v is a bfs ancestor of u possibly u itself okay so suppose um, th we are having this type of you know uh, th uh, this is v we are having this type of tree structure okay and some other tree now if there is a edge okay between a uh, v and t as well right but we have not exploded why we have not exploded because of so some reasons right so let me just draw the direction also so if you remember this is our example right so now we call this as a back edge okay so from v if there is any edge to the ancestor of u to the ancestor of u okay then we call it as uh, a back edge okay so basically what we are saying that in a tree if any node is ancestor of v and there is a edge from v to that node then we call all such edges as back, uh, back edges okay next type is cro uh, forward edges forward edges means um, if there is a edge from a node to a proper descendant okay so it is just opposite of um, for uh, back edge so if we are having a um, edge like this right then we call this as a forward edge okay then uh, there is one more edge called cross edge what do we mean by cross edge cross edge means uh, if there is a edge between two nodes so let me just draw a simple example of cross cross edge as well so we are having a simple node u and v and there is a edge between these two okay now in this case the edge between u and v is called cross edge okay and when to call it cro cross edge when u is neither the ancestor nor the descendant of v but still there is a edge so all such edges are called cross edges okay and for this it is not necessary that they are at the same level so suppose i am having a node say s okay or maybe x at this uh, point and there is a edge from x to u then this also is called cross edge because x and u are neither ancestor nor descendant okay so all such edges are called cross edge so uh, the definitions of edges are quite simple uh, all the solid black edge from which which are actually used to form the tree are called tree edges 
rest of them are classified as non tree edges now these non tree edges could be a back edge it is a back edge if uh, v is the v is a bfs ancestor of u it is a forward edge if if v is a proper descendant of u it is a cross edge if u and v are neither ancestor nor descendant of each other okay with respect to the tree with respect to the tree definitely okay so these are four types of tree now let's see which type of edge present in which uh, which uh, tree so let's first talk about uh, uh, directed graph okay so direct so there is a directed graph and we get a directed um, bfs tree okay so let me just move this slide to that particular slide where we have already seen the example of directed case yes so this is the example um, okay sorry let me just run and make the entire bfs tree okay yes so this is my tree <clears throat> now in this you can see all the black edges are black color edges are um tree edges right so this 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 are tree edges okay now back edge okay so from 7 to 1 there is a edge and 7 is a descendant of 1 right uh, or you can say that there is a edge from 7 to 1 and 1 is the ancestor of 7 therefore this edge is called back edge okay there is also a edge from 7 to 4 but you can see 7 is so i i should use actually different colors right so things will be oh my god things will be much more clearer so we can go and select another color maybe this purple one okay so this particular edge is called cross edge because 7 and 4 uh, 7 and 4 what is the relation between 7 and 4 it is neither ancestor nor descendant of each other okay so all such edges are called cross edge so see 4 and 5 is also neither ancestor nor descendant okay any other so okay now edge between 3 and 6 so 3 is neither the ancestor nor the descendant okay so things like so th there are many cross edges so all the purple edges are called cross edges okay when the what is the relation between u and v u and v are neither ancestor nor descendant of each other okay if there is a edge from u to v where v is the ancestor of u in this case okay so let me again change my pen color i don't know which color to use okay so let me use this one so <clears throat> in case of 7 and 1 okay uh, 7 is u and 1 is v and we are saying there is a edge from u to v okay and when v is the ancestor of u then we call all these edges as uh, back edges okay these are called back edges what are forward edges forward edges means if there is a edge from any node so if there is a edge from say 1 to 3 if there is a edge then this edge is known as so this is the edge to the descendant okay so this edge is known as forward edge but uh, if you remember the theorem okay uh, what we have covered about the distance of the things you we can clearly see that it is not possible okay if there is a edge from 1 to 3 then definitely 3 should come at this particular level okay not at this level and if it will come at this level then it will become this edge will become a tree edge okay so forward edge are not <clears throat> present in bfs directed tree okay forwarded edges are not present okay so there are only three types of edges which are present in a directed bfs tree or bfs tree of directed graph okay 
तो वन इज़ द नॉर्मल ट्री एजेस विच आर द ब्लैक वन सो ट्री एजेस आर देयर देन क्रॉस एजेस आर देयर क्रॉस एजेस मीन्स वैन यू एंड वी आर नाइदर एंसेस्टर नॉ डिसेंडेंट एंड बैक एजेस आर देयर बैक एजेस मीन्स यू नो द वी नोड इज द एंसेस्टर ऑफ नोड यू राइट okay now if we talk about the uh, undirected bfs tree how many ages are there okay now here you uh, you know again with the same concept that the distance between two node could not be more than one okay so see solid black color ages are tree ages so there is no doubt in that these all are tree ages okay all these are tree ages all these are tree edges okay solid black color now uh, what what is other type of uh, uh, edges available here so see some of these are cross edges you can see this gray you know edges these are the cross edges cross edges means see there is a edge between 9 and 7 there is a edge between 7 and this okay and it is not they are not ancestor or descendant of each other okay so every other edge the gray all the gray edges you are seeing are called cross edges now is there any back and forward edge okay so what is a back edge if so we are saying there is edge between 9 to 1 okay and since they are a descendant and but this is not allowed we have already seen this okay if there is a edge between these two then definitely 9 will come at this layer okay and if 9 will come at this layer there is a direct edge and it will count as a tree edge not backward or forward edge okay so in case of undirected bfs tree only two types of edges are present tree edges and cross edges right if we talk about directed bfs tree then three types of edges are present tree edges cross edges and back edges okay there is no forward edge so i hope uh, edges type are clear to you okay so let me just go to our slides okay so forward edge so this will never happen by fact 2 and in case of uh, um, undirected graph back edge is also not there okay now one more property we have already seen but but just to revise for each node v in the bfs tree the tree path from root s to v is the unweighted shortest path okay from s to v Okay. nodes that are not in the bfs tree are not reachable from s this is also the fact that we already know if any node is not reachable to uh, you know if a node is not reachable from source then it will not be a part of bfs tree right okay and more specifically we are saying we have two things parent of any node v so parent of v in the bfs tree is uh, predecessor of v on its shortest path from s agreed right so if so what we are saying to any node v s okay we are having some nodes in between and <clears throat> so if we are going like this and this u is the parent of v okay d uh, or oh, sorry not d pi of v is equal to u okay if u is the parent of v then it is definitely the predecessor of v uh, on the shortest path from s so because whatever path you will take definitely this particular u will come into that path this node will come into that path okay and uh, what is the distance length of the shortest path from s to g that is the distance okay because we are getting shortest path when we talk about undirected graph okay so this should also be keep in mind that here we are talking about undirected graph and in undirect not undirected rather yeah indirected graph but unweighted graph okay weights are not there on the edges even if it is directed or undirected doesn't matter but weights are not there right so if any node is uh, unreachable then 
uh, if v is not reachable from s then who is the parent of that node of that v the parent is nil because in we initialize all the parents with nil okay and what is the distance of that node if v is not reachable from s what is the distance distance is infinity okay so these are the two lines so these are few facts that we have already covered but just to revise them uh, they are there now can we write a algorithm to print the path of v so the algorithm is quite simple we have to print print the path of v from source node so what you have to do you just have to print parent 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 till the point you reach the source node okay so for a node to be a source uh, means we are saying when the parent is nil okay so if we are again let me just draw this same diagram we have some nodes here u and then v and if you want to print the path of v what we will do we will print u parent of uh, v then we will print then we will call this on the parent itself okay we will call this so this is a recursive function so it will get call 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 till what time when the when the parent of source is actually nil right so when we reach to source uh, the recursion stops and then printing will start right so first we will print s then the other node then the other node and at some point we will print v a uh, u and then v okay so this is the path printing algorithm okay great uh, so